for the most accurate forecast in the Ozarks. Well, last evening at this time, we were watching Cristobal and the rain from Cristobal move into the area. Outside right now, we've got mostly sunny skies. It's quiet, not the case in northeast Kansas and southeast Nebraska, where we have an unfolding severe weather threat. These are the remnants of Cristobal moving through Iowa and Wisconsin. Heavy rain there. Take a look at the rain totals that we had in our area. These are reports from across the area. A general two to five inches fell in the stripe of heavier rainfall. Mountain Grove, almost five inches, four and a half inches in Buffalo and West Plains. Nixa, three and a half inches, same in Lebanon. You can see even in uh, areas like Waynesville picking up two and a half inches of rainfall today. Here in Springfield, officially 2.61 inches of rainfall and it is very wet out there and of course not only is it very wet it is very very humid and with temperatures in the upper 80s near 90 degrees there's an awful lot of instability in place over the Ozarks and we've got a potent storm moving in from the west here's the good news we have drier air which moved in in the wake of Cristobal, plus we have a fairly strong cap in place. So despite the warmth, the humidity and the instability that's in place ahead of this cold front with that cap, that's preventing thunderstorms from firing. Now there is a very slight chance that we still could see some uh, action maybe over the next few hours up towards central Missouri, possibly in our eastern counties. But I think that that window of opportunity is limited and I think the overall chances are also very limited. Another story overnight tonight into tomorrow is going to be the wind with this storm. We have a wind advisory in effect for our western counties closer to I-49. This is from 9 p.m. through noon tomorrow. 20 to 30 mile per hour winds expected with gusts to 45 miles per hour. And we're going to find some, some gusty winds further east outside of that wind advisory as well. And you saw the story earlier. Trees going down because the ground is so saturated. That would be a concern of mine later tonight into tomorrow morning. Given how what everything is with those kinds of winds and everything having leafed out now, we could see a few more trees come down. Also another story tomorrow is going to be the fall feel. We're going to go from a summer mode today, certainly, to more of a fall feel tomorrow as we're going to find a cloudy start, light misty showers, gusty winds, and much cooler temperatures. Tomorrow afternoon, we will gradually clear the clouds out from west to east, but that process is going to be on the slow side. Winds will ease, but temperatures are going to remain rather mild. It looks like uh, temperatures will range from the 70s west to upper 60s, closer to Waynesville and Raleigh. Here's our hour by hour forecast. Again, uh, any rain chances very, very limited. Our northern counties, our eastern counties, after midnight, absolutely quiet. By tomorrow morning, clouds roll in, and again, light misty showers will come with those clouds. The clouds gradually thinning out from west to east as we work through the afternoon hours. Temperatures tonight, take a look at that. After morning lows in the low 70s, tomorrow we're looking at morning lows in the mid to upper 50s. Highs tomorrow will range from the middle 70s west, so it looks like upper 60s in places like Fort Leonard Wood and Rolla. Again, winds will be very gusty, especially during the morning hours. Good looking forecast after a wet night last night. We've got some quiet weather and an opportunity to dry out the remainder of the week through this upcoming weekend into early next week. Uh, temperatures are actually going to be after tomorrow very seasonable. For this time of the year, uh, pretty close to what you would expect with overnight lows also rather comfortable in the upper 50s to low 60s. All right, let's take a look at our viewers club number. Let's do uh, and here's tonight's number 124 649 is tonight's number with our jackpot sitting at $700. All right, Jamie, thank you.